But then, science started to advance. By the late 1800s, microscopes got better. Chemists were analyzing urine. They figured out. The real problem was sugar wasn't being used properly by the body. And then came the pancreas. Fast forward to the early 1900s. Scientists had started realizing diabetes had something to do with the pancreas. The pancreas is this weird organ in your belly that looks like a lumpy worm and hides behind your stomach. A German scientist named Oskar Minkowski did this experiment where he removed the pancreas from a dog, oh and the dog goodness. suddenly oh, developed scary. diabetes. Pee everywhere. Classic sign. So, bingo. The pancreas was the key. Somewhere in there was the magic stuff controlling blood sugar. But the problem? The pancreas does a lot of things. Digestive enzymes, juices, and somewhere in the middle, the islets of longer haunts. These tiny clusters of cells were believed to hold the secret sauce. The hormone. The missing piece. The challenge? How to extract it without it being destroyed by all those nasty enzymes. And now, enters our hero. It's 1920. In Canada, a young surgeon named Frederick Banting can't sleep. He's reading a medical article about the pancreas, and suddenly he scribbles in his notebook. Tie up the pancreatic ducts in a dog. Wait for the digestive enzymes to waste away. Isolate the islets. Extract internal secretion. Relieve glycosuria and diabetes. Boom. 2 AM genius idea. Like when you suddenly think of the perfect TikTok concept while brushing your teeth. Except this one was about to change medicine forever. But Banting wasn't a lab scientist. He needed backup. 